No, hey, Cooking15 here. Uh, today, I'm here with my little brother. We're going to be making some grilled cheese. I, uh, you know, I saw this thing online where, like, a bunch of people was, uh, you know, cogulating and getting together and, you know, is making grilled cheese. And I thought, well, you know, I, I, know, I got several different recipes for grilled cheese, but they're turning this upside down because they want to cook it on the grill. Uh, and so what we're going to do is, is we're going to do this thing we're calling Pound My Grilled Cheese. Uh, so we're going to go over our recipe and, and show you how to pound my grilled cheese so you can pound your grilled cheese. It's hashtag grill my cheese. Same thing. Anyway, I'm going to tell you some of my grilled cheese recipes and then what we're going to do, we're going to cook it on the grill. So uh, first... First and foremost, you know, if you're new around here, you want to you wanna start with some name brand bread. Uh, and I'm going to recommend you go, be careful. You're not supposed to treat bread that way. Uh, I'm going to go for the Texas toast, some name brand Texas toast. Um, this makes a real good grilled cheese. You know, you see that, you know, nice thick, you got a nice thick sandwich right there. Um, if you can't find Texas toast, don't be afraid. To, you know, just get some good name brand. Um, you know, if you ain't paying at least three, four, or five bucks for a loaf of bread, it probably ain't any good. But um, you know, this here is a country buttermilk. You know, you might go for an oatmeal or something. You know, just get some good bread. Um, and then what you want to do, um, you know, for my recipes because I like maximum flavor. Yeah, you know, I don't just use butter. Uh. -uh. Do yourself a flavor and use some flavored butter. Uh, so what I what I got here, I'm gonna show you some of mine. Look at that one, huh? This uh, this is some homemade churned butter. It's a creamy style butter that I made myself, but I had a little bacon grease. Um, we got some, you know, some cherry smoke or apple smoke bacon. I think it's cherry smoke this time. I put a little bacon grease in there. So this is a combination of bacon grease and uh, some homemade butter. Um, you know, this one, that's my honey butter right there. I got some uh, rainforest honey, my homemade butter. I made it at home. This one right here, this is my garlic butter. Got a bunch of different garlic flavors in there, such as uh, garlic and... Um, you know, oregano, different things like you put maybe on a pizza or something like that. Thinking garlic bread. You smell that? Smell pretty good. All right. So, well, what's going on here? We're making grilled cheese. Why don't, you know, why am I showing you all this? Well, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Okay, good thing I got some more of that. You want to get some name brand cheeses. You know, you can get, uh, you know, maybe some of this processed cheese. I mean, you know, for grilled cheese, you can use it. I wouldn't use it in most of my recipes, but grilled cheese, you know, you can use this. Just make sure you use a name brand cheese made from milk. And, uh, you know, this one here is a Velveeta. Um, you know, you can use it. Just make sure you use a name brand Velveeta. Uh, and in here, what I got, will you stop knocking that stuff down? You got to be careful there. He's never careful. Uh, you know, this is that. some deluxe. This is uh, a little bit more expensive because it tastes better. So, uh, you know, give you kind of an idea here. What else I got? Got some meats. So here's what we're going to do. This ain't regular grilled cheese right here because it's going on the grill, but it's also going to have maximum flavor because it's my recipe. So we're going to make regular grilled cheese, which is just going to be some cheese slices, Texas toast, Regular grilled cheese, you know, no extra flavoring or anything like that because you're going to get your flavor from your tomato soup. You dip it in a tomato soup. Then what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to use some name brand honey ham. We'll take some honey ham, some baby Swiss cheese, and some yellow mustard. And we're going to use that honey butter I told you about. So we're going to butter with the honey butter, honey ham, Swiss cheese, and mustard. It's gonna be a hot ham and cheese. It's gonna be real good. And then, I'll tell you what we're gonna do next. We're gonna use a smoked ham. We're gonna use a smoked ham 
I'm gonna make some bacon. This is homemade bacon I made it myself. This is cherry wood smoke. And we're gonna use some special cheeses with that. We're gonna do kind of a combination. We're gonna use some smokehouse cheddar and we're gonna use some cheese slices, some premium cheese. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a smoked ham, bacon, cheddar, you know, that kind of thing. But here's the thing. I'm gonna put some of my homemade barbecue sauce on there. Um, it's uh, it's homemade because I you know I made it out of my own recipe uh, at home you know and uh, smell smell that. What you want to do? You can use any barbecue sauce, but just remember you're putting it on bacon, cheddar, and um, you know smoked ham. So you you want you want to go for a barbecue sauce that's gonna kind of blend with that flavor there. And now you're probably wondering, well, hold, hold on a second here. Something's going crazy. Because I, I noticed you got provolone and parmesan. What's this all about? You know, it's grilled cheese. Well, I got something special for you. You remember my pizza pasta recipe? Got some leftover pizza pasta in here. Some pepperoni and mushrooms and... You know, after eating this a couple of days, you, know, you kind of get sick of it, you know? I mean, it's good, but you can't eat it every day. You want something else. You're craving something else. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. we make grilled cheese out of this. We're going to use the garlic butter, Texas toast. We'll use some provolone cheese, maybe some mozzarella, parmesan. And in the middle, we're going to have pizza pasta. So you're basically, you're making a grilled cheese pasta garlic bread kind of sandwich. So that's four grilled cheeses. We're going to make them on the grill. Was that thing again? Pounding ha our grilled cheese. Hashtag Same grill thing. my cheese. Let's do this. We're going to head outside right now. Alright, so here we are in front of the grill. Now I got the grill heated up here. Um, what you want to do is you want, you want to get it good and hot, but I'm going to put it on a low setting. Now this bread is going to cook way too fast, so what we're probably going to want to do is we'll get the grill good and hot. I'm going to we're going to throw the grilled cheese on there, but I'm going to turn the grill off. If you're using a regular charcoal grill, you might have to do some indirect heating, you know, something like that. But um, what you want to do first, is you want to you want to butter your bread, um, you know. So you're going to butter your bread here. And um, you know, get that, get it all around there, er everywhere you can. And we're gonna put the cheese on, you know, when we throw it on the grill. So, uh, all right. So let's get this on the grill. Okay. So now for the regular grilled cheese. This is just your standard grilled cheese, and. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate my cheeses so I got good coverage. If you want, you can take another slice and fill that in, but you know, it's just gonna run all over when you're dipping it in your soup. So we just gonna do it like this. Now see, I don't really care about regular grilled cheese. Yes, looking good, looking good. If you want, you, you can close your lid a little bit. You maybe use some smoking chips. Now, if you want to get fancy, tell you what you want to do. You're going to do a little rotate. You know, that rotate will give you those diagonal lines that, you know, people tend to like here. Woo! Oh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Yeah. Getting better. Oh, yeah, we're we going to do is we're going to we're gonna cross this on over here. Woo! Yeah, it's looking good there. I like mine a little more done, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook it a little longer. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good there. Looking pretty good. I'm going to throw it on a hot part again. I, I really want to get it good and crispy. Alright, I mean there you have it. Grilled cheese on the grill. Just some regular old grilled cheese. Look, watch this. You can whoop, like that. You know I can do that. Whoop. Alright. Okay, now we're doing our, our honey butter, Swiss cheese, and ham. Looks like the grill's a little hotter there, so it's flaming up. We're going to do a little rotate here. All 
right. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's looking real good there. Looking real good. I can smell that butter. You smell that butter? Yeah, I can smell that, it. That's a rainforest. That ain't, the, that ain't out of your yard. That ain't, that ain't the store brand stuff right there. That's from the rainforest. All right, let's flip it over here. Oh yeah. Mm. Gonna put it on a hot section here. All right. Okay, now we're doing a specialty here. It's gonna be real good. We got our uh, got a barbecue sauce, and we got our uh, bacon grease butter. Special bacon grease butter. I'm gonna put the smoked cheddar on there. I'm gonna put two slices of ham on there. I'm gonna put some bacon on there. Now that bacon is good stuff right there. Now here's what I'm gonna do crazy though. I'm gonna put another slice of cheese in the middle. You know, go for a little maximum flavor there. Okay, we're gonna do a little rotation. Woo I might slide it back here, get a little more heat on there. Some nice hot grates. Okay, we're gonna check on it here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Give it a little pat. Yeah, I'm gonna put it over here where the grates are hot again. All right. That ought to do it. I'd say no 30 seconds, she'll be done. Oh yeah. Look at that. Woo! Look at that. I'd say that's done. Okay. Now for the specialty. Woo! That'll burn you. That'll burn you. Woo! Man. All right. So this is our pizza pasta. That You got to watch that garlic butter. That oil and garlic butter, that stuff will get crazy on you. I'm going to throw the pizza pasta on here. You got the pepperonis. You got the pizza pasta. You know what I'm saying? It's leftovers right there. Now I'm going to put a little of the Parmesan cheese on there. Okay. Do a little rotation again here. Get it back on the hot part of the grill. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, let's check on it here. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good there. Looking good. Forget what you've seen here. Okay, we're back here in the kitchen. We got our four grilled cheeses. We're gonna give them a try. Uh, here we got our regular grilled cheese, regular grilled cheese sandwich here. Are right, you going to try it? What's the point? I ain't got any tomato soup. That's a good point. Okay, so um, what was the next one here? Is the uh, ham and Swiss. This, that's this one right here. Look at that. Yeah. We got a honey butter. We got Swiss cheese. We got a little yellow mustard on there and some honey ham. Yeah. Oh, man. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That's really good. That's the best one yet. You can taste that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is the best one. Mmm. Man, that rainforest honey. It's the way to go. Alright, so next. What's this one here? All right, so this is a, this is the pizza pasta one. Um, we took our leftover pasta. We actually heated the pasta up just a little bit just to make sure the meatballs was was hot. We got some Parmesan cheese on there. We used the garlic butter, so it's kind of like a garlic bread. Give that give that a healthy try there. Oh wow! Mm. Yeah, it's good. That's the best one yet. Yeah, I think it is. Wow. 
Mmm, man, I'll tell you what. There's just the right amount of garlic and seasoning. It ain't, it ain't too overpowering, you know. You don't want to get overpowering. Right? That worked out real good. All right. And this one here, we got our smoke ham. We got our cherry wood smoke bacon. We got uh, cheddar cheese. We got American cheese. Actually, it's smoked cheddar. And uh, we got the butter, homemade butter, that had a little bacon grease in there. A little of that bacon grease. Oh, and my special barbecue sauce. Let's not forget that. Oh, wow. Man, I ain't got the best one yet. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. Look at that. I think I can eat two or three of them right there. Mmm. Just good. just the right amount of barbecue sauce on there too. Mmm. It's a good barbecue sauce that matches the flavor, you know. It goes real good with that cheddar, with that bacon and that ham. Mmm. Man. Man. I gotta admit, I thought it was a crazy idea these guys was having cooking grilled cheese on the grill. It's working out real good, ain't it? Yeah. Man. Hmm. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, cooking 1.5. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube if you ain't been over there yet. We got some videos over there if you ain't ever seen any of our videos. Um, go to cooking15, spelled out, cooking15.com. Got my recipes on there as they're getting released to the public. We're going to be doing these videos and collagulations and whatever comes up. So check us out next time. We're out of here.